In this tip of the week, we will explore the tools and options in the Big Blue Button Conference Tool Interface. Big Blue Button is running on HTML5 and recommends Chrome or Firefox for use, or possibly Safari if you're on a Mac, so that all functions run properly. Internet Explorer is not supported by Big Blue Button. Therefore, you will want to log into my classes using one of the recommended browsers when you plan on moderating or participating in conferences in a course. Once you have started or joined your conference from within your My Classes course, Big Blue Button will open in a new tab. You will be prompted to select how you would like to join audio. If you select to join using a microphone, you will have to grant access to your microphone and test your audio. You are currently the only person in this conference. You can toggle your audio option off and on again if needed, and you can mute and unmute yourself once you have enabled your microphone. You are now muted. You are now unmuted. To share your webcam, select the video icon and you will be prompted to grant access to your webcam. Then start sharing after you have verified your settings. If you enable the recording feature when you set up your conference settings, you will find a start recording option in the conference interface. If you did not click enable recording when setting up your conference, this button will not appear. For more information about setting up the conference, watch the setting up and managing conferences tip of the week. All users will be notified in the default welcome message of the public chat area that the conference may be recorded. When you are ready, press start recording and participants are notified that the session is being recorded. You can pause and resume recording at any time during a conference. No matter how many times you pause and start, the video will always process as one final recording once the conference is concluded. From the options drop down menu, you can make the session full screen, you can view and update conference settings, you can search for help with your conference options, you can view keyboard shortcuts, you can leave the conference by clicking the logout button, or end the meeting for all attendees by clicking end meeting. If you log out or get kicked out of an active conference, you can always press join from the My Classes Conferences page to re-enter the session. The Users panel displays those who have joined the conference and the chat window displays all messages received for each user since they last joined. You can show and hide these panels by clicking the user icon, or you can resize the window to personalize your viewing experience. User roles are indicated by different shaped icons. The default moderator of the conference will have a square icon, while viewers will have a circle icon. Users with a microphone connected will have a microphone icon in the lower right corner, those in listen-only mode will have a headphone icon in the lower right-hand corner, and those without any audio will have what looks like a bite taken out where a microphone or headphone icon would be. The current presenter is indicated by the screen icon on the top left of the user shape. When someone is speaking, the icon will also vibrate. Each user listed in the panel has a settings menu that can be expanded by clicking on their name. Each user can set or clear their own status, and mute or unmute themselves. You are now muted. You are now unmuted. All users will have the option to start a private chat with one another as long as the setting has not been disabled in the conference settings area, which we'll look at in just a moment. As a moderator, you can also remove a user, mute and unmute users with microphones enabled, assign a presenter role, or promote a user to moderator. The users window has a manage user settings icon. You can use these settings to clear all status icons, mute all users, mute all users except the current presenter, you can save the user name list, you can create breakout rooms, and you can lock viewers out from using certain items. You can lock viewers out from using their webcam, seeing other webcams, which would reduce bandwidth, from using their microphone, from using the public and or private chat options, as well as keeping them from editing shared notes. You can create breakout rooms for a group discussion by selecting Create Breakout Rooms. Choose the number of rooms you would like to divide participants between. You can randomly assign users into these rooms, or you can click and drag not assigned users into the room that you want them to participate in for a smaller group discussion. You can also move participants between rooms. The time limit you set on the breakout room session will expire the breakout room allocation, forcing everyone back into the main conference area at the same time. As the moderator, you can join rooms if you would like to explore the conversations that are going on. 
all users will see the remaining time in the breakout room. But if you want to end the breakout room sessions early, as the moderator, you can choose to end all breakout rooms at any time. Shared notes is an area where all users can contribute in real time. The shared notes does not identify which users are sharing what. During the conference, users can export these notes in different file formats. The chat area contains the default welcome message for the conference and contains all public and private chat messages throughout the conference. Viewers can always send a private message to moderators and vice versa, even if those in a viewer role are locked out of sending private messages to each other. Any user with a presenter role will have the action icon appear in their presentation window. You can add files to your presentation by clicking the action icon and then clicking upload a presentation. Drag one or more files or browse to select the file or files that will be presented during the conference. You can choose to allow participants to download a file by clicking allow presentation to be downloaded. If you upload multiple files, you can choose which file is viewable in the presentation panel first by clicking the show checkbox. You can delete a file by clicking the remove presentation button, but you cannot delete the default PDF. When you are done choosing your settings and selecting which file you want to present first, press upload. Big blue button converts Word documents or PowerPoint presentations into a PDF file. If your presentation has animations or interactive content, they will not be converted, and you may want to screen share that presentation instead. For each presentation, you can move back and forth or select slides if there are multiple pages, increase and decrease the viewing size of your presentation by zooming in and out, and make your presentation full screen. You can also make your presentation fit the width of the presentation window with the fit to width icon. Height will remain proportionate, so if you have a portrait-oriented file, the bottom may get cut off. If it does get cut off, you can make your presentation fit the entire page once again by clicking the Fit to Page icon. Each presentation includes a Whiteboard Tools menu. With Whiteboard Tools, you can annotate the presentation space by adding lines and shapes, typing text, and using the Pencil tool to write or draw freehand. You can choose the color of your annotation ink, adjust the line thickness, and undo or clear all annotations. You can also enable multi-user drawing on the whiteboard, which allows all users in the conference to annotate at the same time. Any user annotating the page will be identified by their name that will hover next to the pencil icon. Please note that undoing an annotation or clearing all annotations only works for the annotations that you added. Each user would have to clear all of their own annotations in order for the whiteboard to be completely erased. From the action menu, you can also start a poll and gather feedback in your presentation by clicking the start a poll icon. Presenters cannot participate in their own polls. Polls are anonymous, and participants are not required to complete a poll. Polls can be yes, no, true, false, or letter responses up to five answer choices based on the options you present to the participants during the conference. If you have a pre-formatted question slide in PowerPoint, Big Blue Button will auto-detect poll questions and provide quick polling options. In this case, the quick poll recognizes options A through E. You can also create a custom poll. For example, if you ask what was your first childhood pet, you can add answer prompts for viewers to respond to. Participants will receive the prompt answers and you as the presenter will see the live poll results, but participants will not see the results until you publish them. You can also share a YouTube video from the action menu. This will allow you to paste a YouTube URL to share the video with participants in real time. As the moderator, you can control the starting and stopping of the video, and you can skip through it. Please note if you are recording the session, the YouTube video playback will not be included in the recording. It is recommended that you include the link to the YouTube video in the public chat or in the shared notes area so that when students view the recording afterwards or export the notes from the session, the YouTube link will be included.
You can also share your desktop screen or an application window with other participants in the conference by clicking the Share Your Screen icon from the bottom of the presentation menu. You will be prompted to select an application window or computer screen based on what applications you have running, then select Allow. To stop sharing your desktop, click the Screen Share icon again. Since Screen Share is HTML5 based, it can be viewed on mobile devices, but presenters cannot share their screen unless they are using a desktop, laptop, or Chromebook. And when you are ready to end the conference, you can end the meeting for all users. This will allow you to conclude the conference to start processing the recording. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guides.